Caspian de Sos. And I'm going to try and go Volbiv today. Looks like a good day for it. Benasque. This beautiful line of clouds beckoned me to fly straight towards an Epic! Blue cloud street. I'm at 3,971 metres and trying to stay out of this cloud. Woo! Haven't got into it yet. It would be above 4,000 metres. And just the highest mountains in the Pyrenees are beneath my feet. I'm not really sure what to do with a day like this. It's just so epic. So down there is the refuge de Moliere where I stayed a few nights ago. I've flown up this valley here. <laughs> I thought that was epic. <laughs> well, the dream's over for now. I'm in sync. And I'm going to try and cross this valley and have a look at the other side. I can feel the warmth. Shaking around a bit, the old wing. The higher I get, the more headwind I'm getting from this direction. And, uh, and the more I want to pee. <laughs> so, I'm off to the next spot. Okay, I saw that 50 centimetres above the ground, but that'll do. <laughs> this was a much anticipated event. Oh, yeah. Just taken off from down there, and uh, Sineto, of course. What I'm trying to do now is get up high enough, so... I can cross down that way. Looking promising. Something, following something up this little spine here. Over here now. I was uh, doing some boring soaring and Yawning a bit, but then there's a bit of lift punching through now. So, so a bit of a dead end this place. Quite a crosswind here, but I'm just going to go to the, well, the low point of the coal before shooting off to the right. Very thinky. bit rougher over here but the thermals are a bit quicker and uh yeah you don't have to wait as long eh? oh this is good and it's not always that france has a nice high cloud base like it does and it'd be really great if i could get over there but so far it's looking quite possible it's a bit wild eh it's a bit wild a bit of lee side stuff Good stuff, just nice climbs on this, I don't even know which country I'm in, but that's uh, the Aneto ahead, and I am on the other side of it. <laughs> Things are good at the moment, but it's starting to look a bit scary because it's, I'm surrounded by showers, one there, one there, and one down there, towards the Spanish side. So I'll have to keep an eye on things. Not supposed to rain. I'm high enough to shoot over the back. I'll get punished, but it's alright. Lots of landings down here. I ended up landing in the top right of the picture there, and that's just underneath Barados Coral. Cool, what a flight. Oh, relief to get down, it was a little bit iffy in that last bit. Beautiful valley though. It later cleared for a beautiful sunny evening and I met Roger the Shepherd who offered me a feed and a good night's sleep. The next day, an hour or two of pleasant walking got me to launch. It's quite strong at times but it seems to me to be thermic. 
So let's go. See a neat toe there just around the corner. It's the first time I've seen it today. And uh, some chamois down there. And I went across to my left and go along the French border, which is back here. Valley I landed last night down there, fully visible. And this climb is drifting off in the direction I uh, plan to go. Brilliant. Ground speed is very high. 60 k's, 58. It even went to 77 before on trim. So I've landed here. This thing stopped working before. I don't know if it's a card or the battery. It must have been the battery. France is just over that coal. I might get going again, eh? It's a bit confused here with the wind coming up these spurs. I think I'm in France now. Just slightly on the uh, northern side of these of this divide. Fantastic. A vulture and I have been climbing together at least a dozen turns now. Climb a few hundred meters. It's really cool. Over the back of this mountain here on the French side, it's a bit strange. It must have been some kind of convergence thing because I was pushing headwind and climbing in the lee side here because the air's a bit funny. There's been lift and there's been sink swirling around a bit. So I should try and get high. Um, pretty committing, isn't it? Risky, but I think it should be right. Calm up here, and it's been epic flying, but it's also a nice day for a walk. Let's see what's over the back here. Lakes, as per the map. And how many landings have I got? Plenty. Brilliant! So far it's not working here. It's supposed to be a track up here, past these lakes, to the Mont Rag, or however you say it, refuge. So although I've had a great day, I'm now sort of walking around these lakes and thinking maybe it would have been good to fly over them. And I was just wondering whether it's still working, because it's nearly six o'clock. And looking up, the sailplane circling. There's some gusts coming through now. Or not. There are gusts though. Yeah, I would call that a gust. Arch formation over the divide. Flying's out for the today by the looks of it. Unfortunately. A relaxed start to the day was followed by a brisk afternoon walk down past this village and back up into the mountains and after a dip the Refugio de Certescan. The next morning the howling winds had abated to calm and I had a quiet wonder around finally reaching a pass on the French border. As I reached the pass within a minute the calm air was replaced by gale force winds and these scary clouds began to form. Once again, flying was out for the day, so I walked down to the refuge de Pinay. I could have had a nice night in the bivy down there, but I stayed at the hut. 18 euros worth off for it, but I did have a good night's sleep. Hope I've got enough runway here. So, I'll lose a few hundred metres doing this anyway. Oh, it's coming up to decision time. So my reward for doing a forward launch this time is landing in a small paddock surrounded by trees and power lines. Bracken, bloody fantastic. And now I'm walking out, very beautiful French valley, lovely little clear water.